You already know I like art. But there's other things to me, you know? Aside from art, I like other things too. Like art in instrument form. <laughs> when I was five years old, my mom put me in piano lessons. And even though I didn't understand what piano really was at the time, it just became a part of me as I grew up and I still enjoy it to this day. If you didn't know I play piano, then you must be very new here. Do your research. I literally posted a piano video like, what is it, six videos ago? Nah, just pulling your leg. It's fine if you didn't know. I'm glad you're here. Welcome. But I mean, it was only six videos ago. So I took lessons at this little place down the road. It was quaint and homey, just a really great atmosphere. The owner was this sweet old lady and she had so much passion for running the place and teaching kids piano. It was great until around eight years later when the place was bought out by another owner. I don't know the exact details, but I'm assuming it was because the place was going downhill a bit and the owner couldn't keep it. So now the little piano place is being run by new people and they, SUCKED! They literally had no care or respect for the place and only wanted to make money. All the passion was gone and you could feel the life drain out of the poor place every day. They branched out to other lessons, which doesn't seem bad, but there would be electric guitars playing at the same time as violins, and during my private lessons there would be some kid blasting it on the drums a couple rooms down. Nothing worked. There was no synergy. But. No, it got worse. The new owners renovated the place to add dance lessons. So not only are there freaking drum solos playing at the same time as one-on-one -on -one piano lessons, but now there's an extra layer of background noise of bad hip-hop music. I remember trying to play a Mozart piece I was assigned and halfway in we were interrupted by A lot of people were complaining, but the owners didn't listen or care. More variety means more profit, so pfft, off with you, peasants. We decided to leave when they added karate classes. So that's how I stopped lessons. To be honest, I already knew the basics of piano and they were kinda just throwing songs at me to learn. And when I got it down, I'd just move on to the next and totally forget about the previous one. You know, like when you study for a test just to pass and then walk out of class the same day like, nice, now I can forget everything. So I was kind of getting bored of the whole routine anyway. For two years, I stopped playing piano. I thought I could only play what teachers told me to and wasn't interested in the majority of what they were giving me. I was tired of the typical classic songs and stuff. Not trying to say classical or any of that style of music is bad. I was just sick of learning them and was overall disinterested. Keep in mind, I was doing it for eight years. In the summer of my junior year of high school, I remember hearing a Pokemon song and thought, you know, this would be really pretty on the piano. I wonder if people have made it into sheet music. And thus, I was introduced to a whole new world of piano music. <laughs> Jaden, you aren't a real pianist unless you only play Beethoven and Chopin and Mozart. Anything else is a disgrace to the piano. What are you doing? Do you mind if I use this scalpel to just try and make a big incision in your head? What? Why? You seem a bit close-minded. I started downloading a bunch of video game sheet music I was attached to, and I was re-inspired to pick up piano again. Yay, happy ending! Don't give up on your dreams, kids! Sparkles, fireworks! Pew, pew, pew. But what you don't know, unless you know me personally, or have been stalking me for the past 14 years of my life, is that I've actually had my fair share of playing a lot of other instruments too. I was a bit of an instrument dolphin, diving into one instrument, dropping it, and diving into a new one. Repeat cycle. The United States education system is dumb. I think we all already knew that. Also, shout out to Arizona for being one of the best states in the US for education. <laughs> so I don't know about you, but my elementary school forced third graders to take a Suzuki class where you learn how to play the violin. No one liked it except the three or four kids whose parents already forced them to learn violin before that. The only thing I looked forward to in that class was trying to get the special violin case with the black interior instead of the normal blue. I realize now that was just a school having absolutely no money and buying whatever they could find to have enough violins for the amount of students. But it was special to me, alright? Nothing else to say about my violin experience. I literally don't remember anything else but just wanting to be the first to the only black violin case. Don't turn that into a racial thing. Looking at you, Wall Street Journal. In fourth grade, they let us choose if we wanted to stick with the violin or switch to a viola, cello, or bass. I chose the cello. 
nothing else to that story either. I just played the cello for a year and then dropped it. There was this one girl in class who was literally the smallest out of everyone. Insert easy typical short joke. She chose the bass. The thing was freaking two times the size of her height and weight wise. It was almost torture watching the poor girl haul this obnoxiously large instrument to class every week. So that's how the Egyptians built the pyramids. The school also forced us to learn the recorder. That was a nightmare. All I remember about those days were... <laughs> Guitar! Dudes, calm down with the instruments. What are you trying to do? Turn us into a parade? Again, the school was shoving more instruments down our throats when they barely had the budget to pay for complimentary pencils in their own classrooms. Hey, I don't think you need to be throwing away your money to random crap. You know, I think there's some other people there who could benefit from a bit extra in their salaries. So the school bought guitars, but not enough guitars. They couldn't afford enough for all the students in a class, so we had to share them in groups of three. Three, not even two. <laughs> you tried. One student would have to play a chord and then the other two would just stare at them. No one learned anything. Imagine trying to learn how to write the alphabet, but hey, no, 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 no. You can't write the letters. You have to watch someone write the letters. Kinesthetic learning style? Pfft, what's that? School, <laughs> what are you doing? Are you actually trying to be low on that education list? You know you're supposed to try for first, right? It's not a, it's not a high score kind of thing. You're not supposed to go for 50. Finally, of course, there was the typical band option in fifth and sixth grade. The instrument I chose was the flute. The main reason was because when the band teacher came in to show us all the instruments we got to choose from, he let us try and play them without any experience. And when he was explaining the flute, he was like, okay, now the flute is one of the hardest to pick up. It's a bit more complicated than it looks. You've got to figure out the exact special way to align your lips to make the sound because it's a very particular. Holy mother, I am the chosen one. This is a sign from the heavens. Greek god Apollo has destined me to play this flute. Get wrecked, mates. I actually really liked playing the flute. Since I already knew how to read sheet music from my piano lessons, I was already a step above most of the students and I had fun. But I had to drop it after sixth grade because taking band in junior high didn't fit into my schedule. Instead, I chose to take an art elective. And you know where that led to. All right, serious business to talk about here. It's actually important. I've noticed a lot of people have been going out of their way to send threats and really horrible messages to other people that, I guess, create similar content to mine. And I just wanted to say, dude, like, stop. I'm getting embarrassed on behalf of what you're doing. These people aren't copying me or anything. They're just having fun making videos. Calm down. They're getting really unmotivated and sad. You're kind of ruining it for everyone. You may not believe it, but what you say and do online does have an impact on people. You have the power to really hurt someone, but at the same time, you also have the power to make someone happier. So, I mean, it's your choice if you want to create a good impact or a bad one. Like, I don't really care what you do. I'm not here to be your mom. Freedom of speech and everything, but I, I, I don't know. Stop comparing everyone to each other. Just let them do their thing. They're not pretending to be me or anything. There's a difference between taking inspiration and straight up copying. Think about it. If everyone was copying each other, then there would only be like a few channels on YouTube. Only one animation channel, only one gaming channel, only one vlog channel, etc. Everyone else is a copy in your eyes, right? What makes channels different are the personalities behind them. Content can be similar, but everyone's so unique identity and charisma-wise that every channel is kind of in their own category. Just everyone chill, okay? Cool. Have a good rest of your day.